Hey guys, this is Jackie, your Nardi Crafter. I don't even know why I did that. I am super excited for Fantastic Beasts and where to find them, so I wanted to do something related to the film. But it's a book. I'm pretty aware that it is a book, but I wanted to do something inspired directly by the movie. And so for this week's tutorial, you guys will learn how to make your very own bow truckle. I have no idea if that's the right pronunciation. This cute little critter is inspired by the one that is in Newt's pocket. Not all bow truckles are exactly the same, so feel free to experiment and give it your own personality. This is a pretty simple tutorial, you can make it as big or as little as you want. Wait until the end of the video for an interesting announcement. Or maybe it's just not interesting, but it's interesting for me. For those of you new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, there are plenty of geeky tutorials to keep you entertained. Equally, if you like this project, don't forget to leave a like and share. All the dweebs are doing it. Here's what you'll need for this project. Dark green, lighter green, black and translucent polymer clay. All these are from Sculpey. Green, brown and yellow chalk pastel. Foil paper, rounded pointy tool and a cutter. The first thing we're going to do is mix the greens with translucent. Now roll a thin snake of darker green and cut the top part in two so that it looks like a leek. Cut a V at the bottom for when we put the legs. Take your lighter green and make a flat teardrop shape for the leaves. Place it on top. Shave some chalk pastels and color the tips brown and the leaves and body with a light green. Now add two small circles for the eyes and smaller black dots inside. Shape underneath the eyes so that it looks slimmer and add a small piece of green for the idea of a mouth. Blend it in. Now push under the mouth to make the idea of a neck. Place some foil paper underneath your critter to give it a shape. We don't want it to look rigid. Bake this part for 15 minutes at 275 degrees Fahrenheit. Make sure that your oven was preheated. Once it's baked, crumple a piece of foil paper and place it on your baking surface. I'm using a piece of wax paper for that. Roll three dark green long teardrops for the legs and place them on the foil paper. Blend them together. Add liquid Sculpey if you have and place the body on top. Smooth the legs onto the body. Add some brown with your chalk pastel to the bottom of the legs. For the arms, roll a thin piece of clay and add even thinner pieces for the fingers. To avoid the pieces sticking together, brush some yellow chalk pastel in between. Clay doesn't stick together when chalk pastel is there. Add the arm to the body by using liquid Sculpey if you have. Place them however way you want and use foil paper to give them distances from other limbs. Now bake it one last time for 30 minutes at 275 degrees Fahrenheit. Make sure, of course, that your oven was preheated. Let me tell you about Scrawlerbox. If you are a huge fan of art supplies, this is the perfect subscription box for you. It's really like Christmas every month because you get not only some supplies, but you also get a challenge every month and you have to only use the supplies in the box. So the challenge for this month is Happy Cat. And I wanted to draw a cat that was having the time of its life with all its toys and of course, catnip. And I really love this box because it helps me challenge myself and I really love drawing. So this is the perfect excuse for me to take out the colors and think of something within either a broad topic or a narrow idea. So if you want more information and to actually see the full video of me drawing this, head on over to my vlog channel. I do a full unboxing and you get to see the full drawings with my commentary. All the information on Scrawlerbox is in the description box below. All done!
If you're not sure when my videos come out, make sure you click on that cute little bell so that you get notifications every time I release a video. So the announcement I wanted to let you guys know is that as of today, not all the time, but I will have mini mail segments at the end of my videos. So if you've sent me something in my PO box, which the address is in my about section, I will show off your stuff. For the sake of everyone, please make sure you don't send me more than three items. If you want to send snacks and all that, that doesn't count. But whatever you want me to show off for you, make it three. So whether you have an Etsy, a business, a YouTube channel, and you want to show off some of your creations, I'll be glad to show them off for you. Be very aware that it could take many months for me to get to your creation. Last time my PO box was open, I had 125 packages to go through, which took about eight months. So without further delay, I don't know why I'm in this kind of accent today, but I am. I got a package from Chibi Studio and she did ask me to do a review on her pieces, so I'll do it really quickly. She sent me some amazing Sailor Moon resin pieces. Now the only piece of advice I can tell you is that since you're selling these, it would be a good idea if you domed the back because it's a little scratchy. Other than that, I really love how you use the colors and you were able to separate them. Let me show you guys. So she was able to separate them. This is not easy to make. And these are Swarovski. Swarovski. <laughs> I don't know why I'm so close to the camera. So this is Swarovski. Swarovski. Crystals. <laughs> so the only thing is do dome your backs or at least put a coat of either white or another color to make it flat. So if you guys want to check her out, here's her information. If you have suggestions for future geeky tutorials, leave them in the comment section below. And don't forget to add me, especially on Instagram. I'm there quite a bit. If you're here until now, you're pretty awesome. Until then, I will see you guys next week.